Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all would be doing good. I am doing extremely fine, and I welcome you all to get another video. So today we finally have with us this. This is a 2016 Ford EcoSport 1.5 petrol TVCT. The engine is known as TVCT, and I'm too excited to review it right now. And uh, this is something like this is something exceptional to drive like. We will. I will tell you how it drives in a separate video. But this video is going to be all about the walk around review of this variant, the Titanium Ford EcoSport 1.5. Titanium with a TVCT petrol engine. So yeah, let's start with the video and let me show you the key, which looks like this. So this is how the key of the car looks like. It it has actually got the push button start. So this has two function on it. That is the lock and unlock. And yeah, let me just unlock it right away. So yeah, so this is a 2015 variant. Basically, to the uh, the Ford EcoSport got a facelift after that. Very after that. So this is the pre facelift variant and this has been maintained. very properly like this is a completely stock car and uh, today i will be telling you each and everything about this car in detail so yeah let's start with the video so starting from the headlamps so these are halogen setups and as you can see these are halogen setups and these also get a uh, leds on them as well so these are the daytime running leds and this also gets a follow me home headlamp function as well and these are the turn turn indicators of the car as well and these are the fog lamps of the car as well So coming to the front, Ford logo as you can see, so sad that Ford has left India, and you cannot buy the Ford EcoSport as of now. And let me tell you that this was one of my dream cars, but sadly Ford has left India, and we are left with, and we are left with nothing actually. So yeah, this is the Ford logo as you can see, and this is the air dam of the car, like this is the grill of the car you can say, and this has got chrome finishing on this as well. And yeah, this is your number plate housing, and there is some black cladding over there as well. And yeah, there is sufficient amount of ground clearance as well. I think it is close to 170 mm. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below. So yeah, this is how the EcoSport looks from the front as well. So this is how it looks from the fell. And this is for the towing hook as well. So yeah. So coming to the side profile of the car, this actually looks so damn like this car looks too good, man. Like this does not look like a jacked up hatchback or anything like that. This actually looks like a proper compact SUV. So yeah. So starting from the wheels itself the design I like the design on the alloy wheels and the size of the tire is uh, yeah the size of the tire is 205 R16 these are 16 inches alloy wheels and they do look premium and I like them of course and yeah Ford logo on the center as well and this has got front disc brakes as well and let me see if they have got uh, okay so you get drum setup also on the rear and you get front disc brakes on the front as well so yeah so coming to the side these are the side rear view mirrors of the car which are body colored and they get the uh, outside rear view they get turn indicators on them as well and these are not foldable by the way so yeah on the side coming to the door handles they get keyless entry on both the sides so one on this side and one on the passenger side of the on the front passenger side so yeah that's about it on the side front and also body colored outside rear view mirror of the for the rear doors and here's some uh, here's some quarter glass opening from here for here as well i will show you that from the inside as well and yeah this is how the ecosport looks from the left bottom side right bottom side sorry and yeah this is how it looks from the back side as well and one thing which makes ecosport looks ecosport looks so special uh, so special is this thing this spare wheel mounted on the back This used to come in the Ventura also, but actually the Ventura is based on the Punto, so that looks like a jacked up hatchback with no ground clearance. This looks like a proper SUV with the spare wheel mounted on the back as well. So this indeed gives it a very different presence of its own. So yeah, I like, I really like how the way it looks, and in my humble opinion, it does not even look dated at all. So yeah, this is how it looks on the back side as well. And one thing cool that the boot of the EcoSport, it actually, let me just. Unlock the car right now. So actually, it is locked. So let me just unlock it right away. So actually, the door of the EcoSport it opens left-wise and it does not go upward like the normal cars which we see. So yeah, this is the boot space of the car as you can see, and this gets a 60-40 split. And yeah, this could be a problem for some, like in the tight parking space issue. But I don't think other than that, that this is a major issue at all. So yeah, let me just close it right away. And it is the door. The doors are very heavy, and you should feel it if you open them. And yeah, this is the spare wheel of an alloy, and this is also the 16 inches alloy wheels. So yeah, this is the variant badging, titanium. Above this, you also get the titanium plus badging. Like the above this, you get the titanium plus. So this is the one lower variant from the top. 
Ford EcoSport badging over here as well and this is the rear wiper of the car which also gets rear defogger as well and this is the high stop high stop lamp of the car as well so yeah that's pretty much about it these are the rear parking sensors of the car and also it gets rear parking camera as well so yeah this out looks from the back left side as well so yeah looks very sporty and also this is the fuel lid of the car which automatically opens opens if the car is unlocked so i can just open it from here as well so that's how easy how it easy it is so yeah that's pretty much it about it of the exterior front side glass side cladding as you can see Re request sensor on the side profile as well and yeah the eco sport does not look dated i'm telling you and i beg for to please come back to india again so that i can like i could buy it so also you get chrome finishing on the fog lamps as well so yeah that's pretty much about it so let's just go to the interior now and uh, let's see what all have we got in the exterior interior front as well so guys before we come to the interior of the ford eco sport let me show you the engine bay of the car and this gets a let me just open the hood right away so this gets a 1.5 tvct petrol engine which produces 110 ps of power and 140 newton meters of torque and uh, this is a surprisingly a 3 cylinder unit and we will i will share with you how it drives and how does the nvs feels like when we would be driving it so yeah as you can see there is some insulation right here right over here as well and the engine bay is quite clean not very clean but it is quite okay not something which you would mind i think so yeah let's just close it right away and the hood definitely feels very heavy so yeah so coming to the okay let me just start up from the seats itself so starting from the seats you get manual adjustable ma you, you can adjust them manually for height as well as the back support so you can adjust the height from here as well so yeah you can all are manual so let me just sit inside so also let me just switch it on at the moment it is very hot so yeah so these are the rear view mirrors of the car which are very big in my opinion and they prop they provide you with a proper view of the road behind and yeah starting from here these are the lock of the doors and these are the lock of the doors and these are the controls for your outside rear view mirror you cannot fold them electrically but you can adjust it from here as well as you can see i have i'm adjusting the driver side rear view mirror so yeah these are the controls for your fog uh, these are for controls for your rear power windows and the front power windows and from here you can lock them so yeah here is some space to keep your stuff over here as well and yeah so the coming to this side these are the ac vents of the car and from here you can adjust the these are for the lights and this is for the headlamp leveler as well and from here you can turn off and on the fog lights the fog lamps as well so these are the controls for your headlamps as well so yeah and there's the fuse box of your car and you can open the hood from that side as well like there is a lever in the bottom side from where you can open the hood as well so coming to this these are the controls for your power windows for front to from all the power windows and from here you can lock it lock them as well and also you get door bottle holders on the door as well and also you get four speakers on four speaker in total and two tweeters and the two one speaker on each door and two tweeters on both the front door as well so yeah coming to the steering wheel this feels very premium in my opinion to hold while driving also and this gets the control for the multimedia and this for the voice recognition system as well next track previous previous track next track and this for the volume control as well and also let me show you how the horn of the car feels like so the horn is very meek so yeah also the st uh, the steering wheel is also tilt and telescopic adjustable so you can adjust it from according to your driving preferences as well and you can just lock it right away and let me also just switch it on at the moment so also the engine start stop button is placed over here so it would get 2 3 days for you to get used to this while you are like you, like at the first moment you won't find it but at some time later some time you will get to know where these are placed so yeah so this is how the instrument cluster looks like and this looks this even looks better than the current like the next the facelift which came this even looks much better than that one also and these and this gets this gives you a lot of information on offer so basically this is the tachometer of the car marking it marking it 8000 which tells you that this is a petrol and this is telling you that the this the delta lights are that the headlights will switch on so let me just switch it off at the moment this is for the fuel and this is the speedometer of the car as well and this for the handbrake as well and you can adjust the like the instrument computer from here as well 
so you can press this button to change the information which is showing like currently it is on the odometer and it is showing the uh, like it is showing the current temperature outside and this on the drive mode and this is the giving the uh, the current fuel economy so from where you can like if you put it upward you can this is for the left indicator and if you put it downward this is for the right indicator as well and if you just press it like if you just press it this will show you the current trip like trip a and this is the average current average which which it, which it is giving traction control this for the current average like the average speed which you have been maintaining and this for the range as well so yeah that's pretty much it about the screen in the infotainment system which is pretty small in my opinion but it is okay so yeah this is about the instrument cluster as well which looks very funky in my opinion the two dials so yeah moving on i have to already told you about this this is for the left and right indicators and from here you can adjust the trip computer as well like the instrument cluster computer as well and this these are the controls for a wiper from here you can this is for the washer fluid like you can like you can change it from here as well and from here also you can change the speed of the wiper as well like from here you can change the speed of the wiper as well and from here see you got the difference right so you here you can change the speed of the wiper as well so yeah also this gar get on the safety front abs with dvd and six airbags yes you heard that right six airbags and like ford always had the always had safety in the priority so yeah abs dvd and also you get traction control of this car as well so yeah that's pretty much it coming to the infotainment system this looks very funky in my opinion like this looks very cute man like very sexy also so you basically get radio aux you can connect your phone via bluetooth and also you get a cd changer with this as well so currently you do not get cd in any of the cars right now like the cds are com completely abolished now not abolished but who uses cd nowadays so yeah this is a very pretty music system like pretty as in the sound quality is also great and you get all the controls of the music system here as well currently to showing the date and time like if i put it on the radio so ford audio and if i put it into radio so currently it's on the radio so and if i need to adjust it i can do it from here as well so like it will keep searching the current uh, like the current radio music station so that is not our like i'll show later and yeah this is for your controls for your locking and unlocking of the doors and these these are for the hazard lights as well so yeah that's pretty much it about the input and system and this looks very nice as well coming to this these are the controls for your uh, automatic climate control from here you can switch on the ac as well from here you can increase the temperature and from here you can increase or decrease the fan speed as well so let me just switch it off at the moment to decrease the wind noise this is for the dvd fogger this one the front fogger and yeah these are the basic modes of the car as well so let me just switch it off at the moment so yeah coming to this this is a 6 speed dcd from ford so yeah this let we will tell you how it drives but one thing like if in the sports mode if you put it in the sports mode this gets automatic like you can change the gears manually by putting uh, like from adjusting it from here as well so yeah so that's pretty much it about like we will talk about this later in the driving portion of the video so let me just put it into back in the parking mode as well coming to this these are the sun visors of the car you do not get any mirror over here as you do not get any mirror here these are the sun holders of the sun glass holder of the car as well let me just close it right now this for the mic and these are for the lights as well front light and this for the left light as well and this for the right light as well this is auto auto dimming rear view mirror of the car and from here you can increase or decrease the uh, like if i put it into the reverse mode this will show you the camera of the car like currently we have covered the with, covered the camera with the newspaper so that is why it is showing here as well and from here you can increase or decrease the brightness of the camera as well so these are not adaptive like if i adjust it these are not adaptive so yeah that's the thing and let me just put it into the park mode once again so yeah these are the passenger sun visor of the car and the, you get mirror over here as well and with the lights as well so yeah, let me just close it uh, here as well so yeah the dashboard looks very funky to me and this looks this is one of the best looking dashboards if you compare it either to the venue brezza or anything like that although we have hard plastics but they are manageable of course so yeah you get glove box which is not cool and but you have decent space to keep your stuff over here as well so yeah quarter glass uh, opening as i have told you already and yeah the window area is also very large as you can see six air bags so you can get the six badging over here as well one here one here one here one here and two at the back as well so yeah that's pretty much it coming to this side you get an aux and the usb you can put your aux and usb over here as well this is very convenient place to store your phone as well as putting them into the aux where aux and you get a power 12 volt power socket over here as well and this is the manual handbrake of the car which has been finished in chrome as well and yeah 
two bottle holders as you can see and this is one of more bottle holder and also you get armrest over here as well so yeah this is a very nice touch most importantly when you are driving an automatic car like yeah basically your left hand is free so you need some space to keep your stuff hand somewhere so yeah that's pretty much about it you get headrest over here as well and the front seat belts are not adjustable like these are fixed so that should have been there but no issues so yeah so let me just move to the back side of the to the rear seats of the car now to tell you how much space have we got in the rear space as well so let me just adjust the driving seat going to my driving position so yeah let's go to the rear seat as well and let me just switch it off at the moment <clears throat> so the key actually fell from my pocket so coming to the rear seat of the car like i've adjusted the driving seat going to my driving position and here you can see the SRS airbag badging so yeah the doors are quite big and the doors are pretty heavy also so you get a bottle holder over here as well where we have stored a umbrella so these are the speakers of the car and these are the door handles obviously and these are the power windows and talking about space you get adequate amount of knee room and yeah i think it is a pretty decent place to sit over here as well for a 6 feet person like me and yeah this is how the complete dashboard of the car feels like so yeah and uh, talking about the space width wise i think three people can actually sit here if they are of my size so yeah also the transmission tunnel is not very big so i don't think there would be any problem for sit for the third person as well also these seats are uh, 60 40 split and you get adjustable headrest as well so yeah very like decent space you get and these are the uh, these are the quarter, quarter glass opening from here as well so yeah nice place to be in the rear i don't like i have heard that there is less space in the rear seat of the eco sport but i don't find do i did not find an issue at all man like i don't find an issue like sitting here for long hours so yeah that's pretty much about it and these are the rear ac windows of the car which obviously provide you with a very airy feeling so yeah magazine hold magazine holders over here as well and you get one cup holder as holder as here as well and one more cool feature is that you get your 12 volt power socket over here so you can charge your phone phone by on the go as well so yeah that's pretty much about it rear parcel tray obviously you get your rear parcel tray as well and you get lights over here as well so yeah that's very cool touch rear defogger as you can see so yeah guys that was pretty much it about this video so let me just go outside it is as it is very hot so yeah guys that was pretty much it about the ford eco sport 2016 variant and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and uh, i've been sweating a lot right now because it is very hot actually so yeah guys that was pretty much it about the ford eco sport in the later part of the video i will be sharing how does it drive and yeah like share comment and let me know your thoughts about the car and the video in the comment section below and let me know how can i improve and all that shit and yeah have a good day thanks for watching people are currently staring at me for what he is actually doing so yeah subscribe only if you like the content have a awesome day keep vibing have a keep a positive mindset so yeah bye bye